Hey YouTube, this is the American Samurai. Oh, sorry. You are now entering the anime Hey. Hey YouTube, it's the American Samurai back again with Anime Haze. Tenchi Mui Warren Jinar Part 2. I forgot to mention in my previous review that all the DVDs have reversible covers. As you can see. A little cool little lecture they put in there. Uh, this one actually came with a slip cover. They're all Blu-ray DVD combos, by the way. Um, this is part two. In this episode, you have The Invasion, episode nine, Expectations, episode ten, Home, episode eleven, Burial Workshop, episode twelve, for Fruition, episode thirteen, Ga Gaia. Um, this is only a 13 episode series, so it's relatively short, but as I said before, each episode is about an hour in length, so you get your money's worth, please. And now, uh, the question I and this actually does a pretty good job in the series in the Tenchi style, you know. I think the only one... The Tenchi series usually ends with like a cliffhanger ending. Kind of hinting that there might be more. And that's the way it's been. So I'm hoping there'll be a movie or another series or something going on. But I mean, if you've been watching this. Movie. Series. Another series. I don't care. Just do something with this. I want to see what happens to Tenchi. Um, but overall, this is another great one. Part 2 does not disappoint. This is going to be 9 out of 10 all day long. I'm going to tell you. Um, it does a great job. I mean, once again, if you're a hardcore Tenchi fan, you're going to pick these series up regardless. But if you're not a Tenchi fan and you're wondering where to pick up one and two of this series, um, that really all depends. If you're into like harem comedies, um, one example I can think of off the top of my head would be. Um, Something like maybe Love Hina or Abiyoshi, Abiyoshi. Maybe pronounce that wrong. Um, it's translating this into True Blue Love. Uh, maybe you'll do that later on. You know, if you like those kind of comedies, then yes, you'll like this. Um, if you're not familiar with the with this, what I would do is I would pick up the series before this, which, according to this, because. In order, it's Tenshi Muya, Tenshi Muya Ryoroki, Tenshi Muya GXP. But really, the only two that are looking to this one are Tenshi Muya and Tenshi Muya Ryoroki. So those are the only two you would need before you would understand this. But you could probably still watch this without watching either one of those two. And still get pretty good into it. But like I said, uh, hardcore Tenshi fans, no-brainer. You're going to pick this up all day long. Uh, like I said, straight up 9 out of 10. I think I like the second part a little bit better than the first part. Um... Love the characters, you know, like the concept of bringing these girls and the fact that one of them is a dark elf. And they do mention the fact about the dark elves and everything. You actually see all the girls on the cover here. And of course, Kenshi's right in the middle of everything. And these little creatures play a big part in the series, too. For some reason, they're automatically drawn to Kenshi. It may have something to do with the pendant. Um, but that. You know, I don't want no spoilers here. So if you want to check it out, you have to watch yourself. You can actually, um, if you go to Funimation's YouTube page, they actually have, uh, I believe, all I think all 13 episodes up now. Um, it's not English dub, unfortunately, it's subtitled. But you know, you can watch a few episodes and see if you want want to check it out in English dub. But, you know, that's how I found out about it. It is by Funimation. So um, until next time, this is you know, like I said, great series, hardcore Tenchi fans. You're already on board. Um, if you're not a Tenchi fan, this may be a good place to start. Um, like I said, but other, you know, you may want to start with the original Tenchi Muyo. If you just start, if you just want to check out Tenchi, because it may be a bit easier to start there, because there's references to the Tenchi that you may not understand unless you've seen the other one. So, until next time, it's the American Samurai saying, "Sayonara."